in the category of medicine and health. Uh, that's like the big thing. You kind of have that status of being in like the group. First of all, thank you so much. This is the questions I'm going to ask you are going to be for college students. Okay. okay. Um, are you surprised with the amount of success that you're getting and the response you're getting? Right uh, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. And, and why yes and why no? Yes, because I think that this movie speaks to everybody. It inspires people. It inspires me even every time I watch it. And and I think it, the kids are funny. They're hilarious and their their personalities are over the top and good, you know. And no, because I just thought that our world, our science fair world was so narrow mm -hmm. and that it was just like our tribe yeah. that did this thing. Yeah. And I didn't think that everybody would understand our life, our, our goals, our dreams as well as they are yeah. and how well it's being received. So I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, no. So I think that as time went on and as, you know, I was being filmed, I started to realize that, you know, this is like a really, really good. And I mean, especially after I saw like at Sundance, mm -hmm. the first screening of it, I realized that, you know, this is really going to be a big deal. Like, I really like that they focus on like such like a diverse range of people. That's really good. And, um, but no, like when they just like the first few days that they were filming me, like they met me at ISAF in my junior year. So the year before what most of the film is. Um, but. I never thought that it would be like a big deal. Like when I was just meeting these guys yeah, and like being filmed the first time, I was like, oh, you know, so whatever. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like I'll do it. Yeah, but it's been it's been a really really nice. Yeah, it's just so great to be a part of. Awesome. Discipline, as far as being a teacher, I mean, it, it, you're portrayed as a very strong individual, very tough <laughs> person, and um, a mean teacher. Mean, um, yeah, a mean teacher, but. How, does, how, how do you feel about that, about your portrayal when you actually see yourself on screen and knowing that this is going to go out to the world and other potential teachers? Do you feel like, hey, like, how do you feel about it? At first, I um, was a little hesitant. I felt like a lot of my life was being shown. Mm. And initially, because I didn't think the film would have such a wide reach, I didn't think anybody would see it. So I didn't mind them seeing the true me, I yeah. guess, and all of me. Yeah. But if it tells another teacher who's like me, you know, what you're doing is worth it and it will pay off in the long term for maybe not you, but somebody else, then I'm fine with the fact that my life is all out there. Yeah. The goal here is just to make sure that we ensure the future is great. And it is. Yeah. Because of these kids. Is there a message you would say to teachers? Yeah, I would say um, don't, don't give up for those teachers who are doing a phenomenal job mm -hmm. and for some of the other teachers who maybe need to be a little bit more introspective about their teaching practices mm -hmm. to maybe step back a bit and say, okay, who do I most resemble in the film and mm -hmm. why? And if they see that they are not happy with their response to do something about it and to make sure that their job is not just, you know, a, a nine to three job. Our job is for life. My kids come to my house for Thanksgiving and they're in the summer. They're part of my family and we are shaping them, you know, and everything I say and do matters because I am very influential in their lives. So I want them to leave and walk away knowing that they matter to me as much as I matter to them. Excellent. Robbie? Hmm. So what advice for teachers or students? Yeah, teachers coming from I, you. Well, I'd say, I'd say definitely, you know, anybody, like in the movie you see that uh, coach Schmidt, the football coach mm -hmm. at Kashfia School, is very supportive of Kashfia. You don't need to be a science teacher to be supportive of students trying to do these projects and like science fair. Um, and also, like even if you are a science teacher or a math teacher, like my math teacher in the movie, she, I asked her about number theory. This was I went yeah. to ISEF in junior year for a pure math project. And when I was working on it, I went in and I asked her, I'm like, you know, what do you think about this? Like, you know, could we talk about this? I was thinking, you know, like, because I was obsessed with math. Yeah, because mm -hmm. she's a math teacher. But, but no, she wasn't. She's like, oh, actually, let's work on today's lesson. And um, so, I mean, like, that is really 
like not what you want to do. If you have a student that's interested in doing work outside of the classroom on, on like mathematics, like you should try to support that. You should say, you know, like maybe I'm not interested, but here's somebody. Else. Yeah, no, here's somebody else, or or maybe you know I'll try to make like an introduction, or I mean just something. I mean even if you can't like. You know, don't just dismiss it like that. Or just that. question him, yeah. you know, yeah. because I don't know everything. I, and my kids are teaching me how to code. You know, that's not something I learned in college. So if I didn't know what he was talking about, my response wouldn't have been, oh, let's just do this subject. I would have been, yeah, all right, cool. Tell me about it. Let's learn more about it. Let's question it. And then I also need you to do the, the homework, too. Mm -hmm. right. Like, mm -hmm. you can have it all. Right. You can do what you want to do and what the kids want to do at the same time. When I interviewed the directors, I brought up the word mentors. And what's interesting is it seemed um, they had commented like it's like everybody was mentoring everybody as they were making the film. That's right. What is your perspective on mentoring for students and for you well, as a? Well, I never really had any experience with mentors. You know, I mean, I, that was not a thing that I knew about until I moved to like Silicon Valley and I was assigned like a mentor like at my first job out here. Yeah. Um, but it's just not something that a lot of people have access to, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously, you know, it helps, but it is, you know, pretty, it's, it's for like pretty like privileged people. Um, not, not saying that's a bad thing. But no, I think that we are mentors. Teachers are mentors. Yeah, absolutely. I think that oh? I you just need a teacher who sees herself or himself mm -hmm. as that. Okay, I think we're all mentors. I think that everything I'm doing in and out of the classroom is a way of mentoring my students. And they're living by example, you know, and that's why I always tell them, if they're there at 8 o'clock at night working on a project, yeah, I'm going to be there too. Because I'm not there, but telling you it, you should be there, that's wrong right. in my mind. Right. So I, I think that maybe I'm the far extreme of that, but I think every day I'm serving as a mentor for my students. I've got one more minute. As far as um, advice for college students who are actually now getting a degree to go to, uh, to become a teacher, what advice would you give this student? You're going to learn a lot more in the classroom than you are in your education classes. I took, my degrees are all in science, so I took education classes kind of on the side, mm -hmm. and I think that I learned more from my students and working with my students than I did in any education course that I ever participated in. I truly believe the classroom is where I learned how to be the best teacher. Any advice for college students, especially where you are? I mean, your, your introduction the other day at, the, at, at Royce Hall was like, hey, get this, everybody. I'm at Stanford, I do this, but they didn't well, accept me. Well, yeah, no, they, they didn't. So, um, I mean, if you're in college, like, obviously, you know, that's a great place to be. That's really where I want to, to go. So, um, I mean, I can't really speak specifically for, you know, what you have access to, but definitely, you know, make use of, of what you have there. Um, I mean, it sounds it sound great. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you both so One much day. for your time. Yeah. No problem. Pleasure. Yeah. Thanks. So. Pressure. I plan on taking the planet until I'm convalescent. If I could just achieve and not just me, but anybody else is going to create what only I can so Simple. Simple as one, two, three. Winning will change your life in ways that you don't even comprehend. Welcome to Los Angeles. <laughs> Today's like the judging day, so we're gonna get judged for what, like six hours today? I don't know.